So every time I see his face, it's like the last I remember of who he was. Nobody really understands the extent of surviving a drowning until you've really seen someone like Santana. At least 45 minutes without oxygen, 30 minutes completely cardiac arrest. So this left him in a very um, disabled state. Kind of like an awake Hi. coma. When he was awake, his eyes would open, but it was blank. I mean, he wasn't there at all. It was like staring into marbles. His care was 24 hours around the clock. So that took a lot of time um, away from trying to raise my oldest son and, um, you know, working on marriage and stuff. And my focus became Santana. At one point, we were able to get a switch put up on his wheelchair and an iPad set up that he would look at. And it showed that he was in there just trapped. Seven back surgeries later, I'm like, you really are Superman. <laughs> like this kid just went through it all. Like he was so tough. So we always call him Superman, Santana man. My child, unfortunately died twice. He, I lost who he was back in 2006, and I lost who he become in 2014. I mean, long story short, Santana's life did come to an end um, with all that he went through. And then when he was gone, I just felt like, like I was gone. So often I was reminded by people, you still have two other boys, but so often I would say, um, Look at your kids and pick which one you needed to go away. I'm finding purpose in everything. Um, I'll never see the big picture. I want people to know that, you know, just because a child is saved doesn't mean they're all right. Had my child known how to swim through swim lessons, we might not have been in the situation we ever got in. Happy birthday, dear Santana. Happy birthday to you.